Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and we're going to use the Divine Structure Deck for the question today. And if you would like a personal reading with me next week, you can reach out to me today at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information. Now, before I even start the reading today, they're giving me the number sequence 1010. Now, when we see 1010, whether it's on the clock or maybe it's on a receipt of something you buy or you see it on a billboard or it comes to you in some other magical way, it's a sign of power. It's reminding you to step into your power and to shine your light bright and to remember who you are and to remember your value and your worth because that's going to bring in everything that you desire. And the way that you can remember that and call on that power and pick that out of thin air when you're dealing with fear is to call on Archangel Michael. He will help you to find your power today and know your strength. And that's why you're going to see 1010. So I feel you could see 1010 today. So thank you, angels. Wow, jump straight out of the deck. So two cards flew the, out of the deck there and one card was sticking out. So let's see what we need to know. So we've got what is our mission together? So that may be on your mind right now. You know, you might be thinking, what's the reason that we're coming together for? What are we going to do when we're together? What is our life going to be like? What's our mission together? And really your mission is to come together to shine your light bright, to help to heal the world, to wake people up. So right now, the masculine's mission is to be together. The masculine's mission is to take that leap of faith off that cliff front there and move into the unknown, to step forward, to show you how he really feels. The stag there is the promise of your union. And if you're seeing white stags, that's a symbol of your mission together. So you'll have a reason to be here. There's something you've come here to do. But these things get revealed to you in due course. Sometimes we try and run before we can walk on this journey by trying to gather too much too soon and gather too much information too soon instead of just ending or, you know, ending things in our lives that need to end and embracing what's coming in, you know, being in the moment, enjoying the now. So I feel that what your mission is to, is to be together is the endings, you know, the karmic endings, the release of negative thoughts, the end of doubt, replacing that doubt with faith. This is your mission together to show the world that love truly does conquer all. That's why there's so many differences with twin flames sometimes. There could be a big age gap or there could be a religious difference or maybe from two different backgrounds or you live in two different places or you have different color skin or, you know, they've been in a straight relationship and being with you is being in a gay relationship. There's many, many things that they have to overcome and you have to overcome to be together. And when you overcome those things within your own selves, you're able to share that power with the world. And that's another symbol of 1010 power. And they give me saliva in the mouth where you're craving something, you're hungry for something, you're hungry for more, you want to help, you want to heal and bring some kind of clarity into the world. And what I'm really seeing there as well is that new moon. So I'm seeing the masculine moving towards the feminine and taking those leaps of faith between now and the new moon. So what is happening to the divine feminine during separation? What's happening to the divine feminine during separation? So you're learning to have faith, you know, during separation, you're learning to trust that your masculine is on the way. You're learning to have telepathic conversations. You're learning to surrender. You know, that's what she's doing in this card. She's learning to surrender, to give it to God. And look at the powerful energy. It's very similar. You know, the masculine there is on the end of a, a cliff. You know, he's on the end of a mountaintop, ready to take a leap of faith. You know, looking out and thinking about endless possibilities and what's next. Thinking about the future and what to do. And the feminine is kind of on the same breakthrough energy here because the feminine is also taking that leap of faith you know she may be more grounded because she's on the grounds so she may be diving into this water or you know she may be walking along the beach here but she is 
becoming free because she's giving any worries and concerns to God. So both feminine and masculine right now are both in the same energy where you both have to give your worries, cares and concerns to God or to the angels or to the higher power to trust that you'll be caught when you fall. You know, if you take that leap of faith, you'll be okay. The angels are with you. The universe has got your back. There's no need to fear. So I'm really feeling these are mirrored energies. I feel the masculine right now is thinking about you and what your mission is. What's our mission together? What's next for me? Why have I come? So your masculine right now is finding out lots of information. He's gathering information. So you may see squirrels, even leaping squirrels, squirrels jumping over buildings or jumping from fence to fence or, you know, jumping around a tree because it's showing you that, He's ready to take that jump. You know, I'm really seeing this as the masculine preparing to take that leap, which we know is coming anyway, because we can feel it as a divine feminine. And feminines, at this time, you're being asked to have faith, to give any concerns to God, to connect with the ocean, to be outdoors because it calms your energy down and it helps you to find peace. And we've also got the Celtic cross spread coming in here. So the angels want me to do a Celtic cross spread to answer these questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reading for the masculine and the feminine with a Celtic cross spread. So I'm going to bring in the masculine and the feminine message tarot. Very powerful. So we're going to cover what the masculine is thinking about and what the feminine is, is doing during separation. Now, there is also a card moving at the bottom of the deck and it's Scorpio energy and this is really powerful because we've just had the full moon. So I may do a Scorpio reading moving forward, whether it's this week or next week. It'll probably be next week now. I'll see what my schedule is like today for to do this reading. But I feel what this is saying is the Scorpio full moon has brought in the energy of release. It's also brought things up to the surface. You know, when I did the full moon reading on Friday, it brought up the energy of Things are coming up to the surface to be released, to be healed, to be revealed. So if something's triggered you or affected you, understand it's happening for your higher good. Okay, it's happening for the good of all. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do three energies here. I'm going to also bring in the twin flame message tarot. So I'm going to do three Celtic cross spreads. So we're going to do the mission for the masculine and what the masculine is going through. We're going to do what's happening to the divine feminine during separation and the Scorpio energy, what the full moon has done for the connection. So let's do this then. This is going to be very powerful. So I'm going to just put these cards down so I can see them. And my, my board tried to fall over then. Let me just move this back slightly. Sorry. Now, I know it's not ideal the way I'm doing my readings. I may change, you know, the, the layout and things moving forward. But for now, you know, it's okay. And, you know, when things fall down, when we fall down, we get back up. You know, we find our strength. So the card decks I'm going to use is the Divine Masculine Message Tarot. And I'm going to shuffle as I go. The Divine Feminine Message Tarot for what's happening with the Divine Feminine. And the Twin Flame Message Tarot for the Scorpio Energy. So first of all, what's going on with the masculine right now in this moment? What's happening with the masculine right now in this moment? What's happening with the mask? So I'm just shuffling until a clear card makes itself known. And what's happening with the feminine in this moment? And what's happening with the full moon connection? You know how the, oh, it jumped out of the deck. Wow. In this moment. So the first card we've got coming up then is, look at this, the three of wands. So the mask is saying, I am making it happen. So the energy is in right now is he's making it happen. I am making it happen. The energy around you, Divine Feminine, today is I feel more in control of my life. So really, this is a bit like a conversation because the masculine is saying, I'm making it happen. And you're saying, well, because of that, I feel more in control of my life. I feel that power. I feel that things are moving forward for us. And the full moon is bringing in the energy of gratitude, focus on self-love. And be grateful, use gratitude to raise your vibe. So the Scorpio full moon is saying to you, if you focus on you right now and write down things you're grateful for, it's going to move things forward. 
So families during separation, you learn how to feel more in control of your life by letting go of the control by focusing on self-love and gratitude to raise your vibration. And the masculine, it starts to make things happen. And he's saying, what's our mission together? I want to make this happen. I want to be able to move forward with peace. So what may be helping or blocking things right now? I want one clear card, one clear card or two cards jumped out at you. So the masculine is saying, when I make a decision, things happen quickly. So the masculine is in this energy where he wants to make a decision. But the things that may be holding him back are his own fears because he's saying, you seem to have everything together. And sometimes that scares me because I don't. So he's actually on the edge of that cliff thinking, you have everything together right now. And I don't. And that scares me. Am I able to make this change? But he knows that when he makes this decision, it's going to happen very quickly. So again, the mask and in the spontaneous energy. So what's happening to the feminine during separation? Because you feel these things are happening, you're getting excited. I'm excited about our future and I'm learning to observe my thoughts. So you're excited, but it can also bring in that frustration because you may want it now. So you're thinking, I want it now because I'm so excited about this love and I want the energy of it and I want to give and experience things and be with my twin. But I know spiritually that I'm learning to deal with fear. They're giving me fear coming up and observe that fear in a new way and observe my thoughts around it. So this is also what you learn in separation to be bigger than any trigger. So what's the full moon bringing in? We've got give out what you wish to receive. So the more you give, the more you receive. Give love, give help, give advice, give guidance, give light. And prepare for karmic endings because changes are coming. They're going to lead to a new beginning and peace. So karmic endings, the full moon is bringing in these changes and the full moon is bringing in results. So big shifts and changes coming in soon. And again, you know, you could be reading timelines into this, but I'm seeing that 10 as power. 10, 10 for power. So what does the masculine want you to know about this mission? He's saying to you, I need to give to you what you give to me. I need to be able to do that. I need to be able to give everything to you that you give to me. So this is about balance. And they give me a block. <clears throat> so this can also cause blocks in communication because the masculines can hold themselves back until they're able to give to you what you give to them. So they want to give those things to you. They want to operate in that power, but they have to find their feet. So during that moment when they are trying to find balance, feminines, you're saying, well, I know now why it could never work out with anyone else. And that sometimes scares me. So during these times when they're trying to find balance or there's no communication, you may go on your own journey of self-discovery where you think, is there anyone else out there for me? Maybe you go on a date and you might have a nice date with that person, but you can't be intimate with them. It shows you that your twin is the only one you want. And that is why it happens. So you learn through your experiences that you'd rather be single than with the wrong person. And you learn to find power within yourself and you learn to get to know yourself and be with yourself. So the energy of the full moon is bringing in the Ace of Swords decisions. Choose wisely and make a decision. So decisions are taking place because you both deserve all the happiness that you're asking for. And when we ask, it will be given. So this is the energy that's coming in right now. Focus on gratitude and focus on love. So the energy moving into the immediate future for the masculines then, what do we need to know? Wow, these cards are really coming out here. So I'm just going to, yeah, they've all gone back in the deck. They tried to come out and then they went back in and then this card came out. And they give me this block because <clears throat> the masculines try to come forward or try to come out of themselves and then they go back in the shell or they, they stop writing that message and maybe you feel like you've been left on read or it's like they're about to step forward, but then they pull themselves back and they do it as well when they make plans sometimes. You know, they may make plans with you. Maybe they're even halfway there to you and then they turn the car around through their own fear. 
And that's what just happened with the, the card. So he's saying, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. So coming into the immediate future is this sense of urgency because he doesn't want to lose you. He wants you to know in May that you're on his mind, that he's afraid of losing you. And this can also cause fear. So during this moment when you know he doesn't want to lose you, you may feel that inside, you're saying, well, I am focused on the good things in my life that remind me to shine. So, you know, you start focusing on you, Divine Feminine, and the masculine gets a little bit afraid that you're moving on. You know, it's always the case, you know it is, when you're busy doing you, feeling good, maybe not thinking about your twin at all, they pop up. <clears throat> because the blocks in communication start to be lifted because the masculines go into fear. If you're doing you and enjoying life, you're not as focused on them. So they feel that shift and they start being focused on you. And you're saying the way you act sometimes makes me question everything. So you're wondering what's going on in their mind. But because, you know, you may not be around your twin in separation, you start focusing on service. And you start learning to give to yourself what you need because your masculine may not be giving you what you need. So you start giving it to you by working on self-love, by being grateful, by raising your vibration, by doing things you enjoy. And that's when the masculine starts being in fear that they're going to lose you. And that's when they return. So the full moon then, what's the full moon bringing into the immediate future? Time to move on. The masculine's realizing, wow, I've got to move on from this karmic relationship or all this struggle and drama in my life or I'm going to lose my family. And this can be when you go through these moments, Divine Family, where you think it's time for me to move on. He's been indifferent. He's not showing me how he feels. I need to move on. And that's when you may give back to yourself. Maybe you even go on a date. And that's when the masculine start panicking. So moving forward... The masculine is saying, I want to spend the rest of my life loving you. Let's get married. So he fully intends on showing you how he feels, even if he isn't doing that right now. A proposal coming to you, let's get married. He wants to be free and able to marry you. So how do you feel about that during the separation? You're saying, well, I realize now that no personal situation has power over me, that I control my thoughts and I know that you're the only one that I'll ever want. So you know you want to end up with your twin and you want that marriage and commitment with them because you are, you know they're the only one you want. And you know that because you're not allowing any personal situation to have power over you. In other words, if your family or your friends are saying, move on, or someone saying, oh, he's never going to be with you, move on. You're taking back your power, saying, I'm the one that controls my thoughts, and I know that you are the only one I ever want. So you're coming into your power in your light, and the full moon is bringing in a change, a transformation energy, saying when you let go of the fear of letting go, everything runs smooth. So let go of the fear of letting go. Let go of the fear of not reaching out, you know, this is the thing, what I'm really feeling here is, during separation families, you know that you learn to stop communicating, you learn to stop trying so hard, trying to control the connection so much in a physical way, and you learn to communicate through telepathy, through signs and synchronicities, through the spiritual realm, through readings, you learn to let go, and you do that through letting go of the fear of letting go, so during separation, the feminine is learning to let go of the fear of letting go. And the masculine is learning to let go of the fear of letting go, which means they want to take that leap of faith. They want to let go and jump off the cliff and know that they're going to be saved. So this doesn't mean they're actually going to go and jump off a cliff, obviously. But it means that they want to take that leap towards you without being in fear of what will happen. So moving into the long term, obviously we know the master wants to marry you and be with you. He's saying to you, I can't forget you and I'm returning to you soon. So, you know, long term, he can never forget you. He knows he can't. And he's saying, you're the reason all of my dreams are coming true. So long term, and I say long term, I'm feeling this is actually between June and September. He's realizing that he can't lose you. You're the reason his dreams are coming true and he wants to make you his. 
or hers. You know, I always channel with the heat, it's just the energy, it's easier. So feminine's what you're saying to you in this time, in the long term, is I am transforming through the pain. So you understand in separation that you are transforming. And not only are you transforming through the pain, you're preparing for the new. I am becoming the creator of my destiny. So you become a lot stronger during the separation. So the full moon then, what's the full moon bringing in? Look at this, jumping out. The full energy. Take a leap of faith and get ready for a new adventure because exciting times are ahead. That's absolutely what the masculine is doing here and what the feminine is doing here. So during separation, the feminine is learning to move towards a new adventure, to give back to yourself, to do things by yourself, to maybe go places and do things and have fun. And the masculine is being guided to take that leap of faith to be with you because they don't want to lose you. It's very powerful. So the way that they see the situation, you know, well, actually, let's do the way that you see it first of all. How do you see what's going on with the masculine right now? How do you see what's going on with the masculine? Things need to be equally balanced. So you know full well, Divine Feminine, let me move these out of the way. You know full well that your masculine needs to come back to you or return to you with an equally balanced energy because you don't want to give and not receive anymore. You know, you don't want to feel that way. You've got to protect your energy. So the way you see it in your life, what you're going through right now, I want a clear card, clear card, there we go. You're tired of being alone. So you know that things need to be equally balanced, but you are also tired of being alone. You know, you don't want to be alone. You want to be with your twin, yet you know you're never alone because you know you're guided by the angels, you know you're surrounded by heavenly love, you know your twin lives in you, and you know you're also learning to enjoy being with yourself. So what's the full moon saying to you right now with the Scorpio energy coming in here? The devil overcome the ego and see things from a higher perspective, fear is illusion. So you're being reminded that when you feel alone, it's illusion because you're never alone. You're realizing that your masculine does want you and care about you, but also needs to be in that more balanced energy that you deserve. So the way they see it right now, this is the way the masculines are seeing things in their life. The star, you are the light within me that guides me home and keeps me strong. I have so much hope for our future. So the masculines are feeling that light and they're being guided towards your light. So they feel that you're their light and you're guiding them exactly where they need to be. They are focused on making it work. So they're letting you know they are doing the work. They may be busy at work earning money. They are preparing to return to you because they're preparing for reunion, prepare for a celebration, and also that great things are being created in your life. So the masculines are very aware that things are happening. So the way that they see your situation, Divine Feminine, and this is the way they're guiding me to do this spread right now. So I trust in karmic endings. So they are trusting you to trust in them to release the things that need to go. And also, if you're in a karmic relationship, they want you to leave that too. And the card's jumping out. I'm making decisions about my life. So they also see that you're making decisions, that you're doing things in your life too. And that may be making the decision to enjoy life. So the full moon is bringing in growing up spiritually, the page of pentacles. And I've got two other cards sticking out. So the full moon is reminding you that you're both growing up spiritually. You're both finding your way. And that communication is being restored because it's time to follow your heart, not your mind. So the universe really is creating the way. So let's do the masculine's hope or fear. You know, and this can be a hope or a fear. Sometimes our hopes and fears are mirrored. I am becoming confident in myself because of our connection. So the masculine is actually wanting the feminine to be happy saying because of you I'm becoming confident because of you I feel what happiness is and I want you to be happy too so what I'm really feeling with this is the masculine is wanting you to be happy they are hoping that you'll be happy and they want to become more confident in themselves to be able to make you happy and this card's moving too I don't like being back and forth. I need to make a decision. So the masculine doesn't like being back and forth. 
you know, he's hoping he can make this decision soon to stop that happening. And that's also what you want. You know, you want the masculine to make a decision. So your hope or fears is, you know, the, the trap situation, things not moving forward. And you're saying, well, I'm no longer going to stick around in that energy. I'm going to break free. I'm going to break free of limitations in my mind because I am the master of my mind. And I know that the universe has got my back. So you're trusting the connection here. And what's the full moon bringing in? Look at this. The full moon is bringing in re reflection energy, re helping you to remember with power energy 1010 that fear is illusion created in the mind and it isn't real. And that neither is judgment. Who cares what people think? So you're being guided to love everyone equally, for we are all one. So you're learning that everyone has purpose and value in your journey. So you're not judging the karmic partner, or you're not judging the masculine for the time it's taking, because you're all one. So you're realizing that karmic partner is actually a friend to you, not a foe, because they are helping the masculine to learn and grow. They're helping you to learn and grow. And they're helping the masculines to be able to move forward to you in divine timing. So the outcome then, what's the outcome for the masculine right now? What do we need to know for the masculine? So what's the mission and what's the masculine coming to terms with? The sun. You are my warmth and my joy. True happiness is always with you. So that's the outcome card and the answer. So the answer is, what is our mission together? You make me happy, divine feminine. True happiness is always with you. You're my warmth and my joy. So the whole message is, the masculine's mission is to be happy because when the masculine is happy, he can help the world. He can do what he came here to do. He can fulfill his purpose. He can be with you fully. And he knows that you make him feel that way, that you're his warmth and his joy and that true happiness is with you. So what's happening to you during separation, divine feminine? What's the outcome card for you? We've got ace of pentacles so this shows you and i've got two cards moving on top but this shows you that you're following the guidance from heaven and the energy around the full moon to focus on self-love and gratitude to raise your vibe you're saying i'm grateful for all of the many opportunities and blessings flowing into my life i know that we are building a solid foundation and during separation i know that in my heart that you are loyal to me so this is what you learn. And the Scorpio energy, which is this full moon, the outcome, look at this. The mind can be a prison, but you hold the key to your freedom. You must release the burdens that are weighing you down. So the full moon is bringing things up to the surface for healing. So a huge message here that both feminine and masculine know that you belong together. The masculines want to take that leap of faith because you're their true light and happiness. And you're being guided to work on self-love and gratitude, divine feminine, to raise your vibration so that you enjoy your life now. And that's guiding your twin home. So today, trust the love, enjoy the journey, do things for you. You know, it's Saturday today. Maybe you're out and about or, you know, the king's being crowned here in the UK. You know, maybe you're watching that on the TV or maybe you are in London right now celebrating that. But what this means is the king is being crowned. And what I'm really feeling with this energy is whether you love the royal family or you don't really care to hoots about them, the king is being crowned. And that's a huge sign of divine masculine power, divine masculine power moving things forward today with the energy of 1010. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.